more. Let's see if I can get one more. The thing I noticed about uh, doing upside down push up is that once you get your balance correctly, um, it's kind of like almost an incline bench. It's kind of like an incline bench press. Like you just gotta press up, or like a, it's like a push up basically. Once you get your balance straight, I think you should be able to do, if you regularly work out, you should be able to get like 15 at least. But uh, if you're just starting out like me, you should be able to get like, on the first day, get your balance. On the second day, go for like a little bit more higher and do like push up to enhance it. Try to do about five the first day. And I kept on going from there. And I think at the end, when I finished everything on the 30th day, I think I was able to do 25 at a time. I average about 18 to 25 now. Another 10. Yeah, I broke it. Uh, what I would recommend you guys to use is wall and also wear socks so that you don't dirty your wall because I believe half of y'all feet is dirty as heck. So, but I ended up fixing it.
30 days. I haven't done any push up or anything right now. I didn't take a picture of my back, but it's what my back looked like. My arms started to look nice. Like I literally didn't have none of this like 30 days ago. See the shoulder, the shoulder having like a texture to it. And you can kind of see the cuts. Like this is looking good. Only thing I need to work out is my uh, belly. My belly needs uh, some ab workout and I haven't done no ab workout. If I suck it in, this is what I look like. So I'm gonna do a 30 day um, transformation for my abs, like a hundred uh, push up a day or something like that. But right now this is where I'm at. Look a little beefy, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, really, like the shoulder pops out. And so I'm about to do one right now, actually, right here, and show you guys basically uh, after the workout what my whole chest and stuff like that look like. And like I said, I didn't do this by itself. I uh, I complemented it with some push-ups so that I can get like the bottom of my curves. And usually, whenever you go. Uh, I believe, let's see, closer grip or wider grip. Yeah, closer grip, usually you're able to work out your triceps and the bottom of this curve right here. So I'm gonna do some upside down push up right here. Hopefully nothing happens. And then let's see uh, what I really look like, you know, cause a lot of people show you all what they look like after they work out. So I'm gonna do that. I'm scared not to slip and hit that or there's some food right here, I don't wanna knock it off. I'm trying to aim it pretty, pretty good. There you go. Boy, I'm about to close the window right here, man. Look at that. Yeah. See that more defined, more definition after the workout for sure. But hey, this is just the beginning. Hopefully you guys are very entertained by this and also that you guys start your own journeys. Please let me know in the comments what you guys think about this whole journey. See if I did good or not. Actually, I had like two nosebleeds during the workouts and I think as you guys seen, but I didn't give up, you know what I'm saying? And it's because my nose was bugging me and I was kind of like going rough with it and then and started bleeding and I guess the wound didn't heal. And when I started doing the push-up, the upside down push-up, I put all my blood towards my head, which can be very dangerous for those that are for those that are very fragile or have uh, head issues or some kind of issues with, with, with anything that's going on to allow you to do that upside down push up. I recommend not, don't do it. Just stick to regular push ups and see what your transformation is. Uh, try 100 push up a day. If not 50, start with 25 a day. Uh, I try to do, I did push ups prior to this, but I try to do at least 20 push up after the whole set of upside down, 20 to 20, 20 to 30 push ups, so that I can get more like more pumps in and rip my muscle more. My shoulder is coming out nice, which I like about that. And I want my shoulder to be huge because one of the goofiness about uh, people that work out is they don't have good shoulders. They just have like a little down shoulders like this. Hey. Yeah, bro, I can teach you how to work out. But if you have big shoulders, it's, go it's gonna make the whole thing look good, your whole body. So hey, it don't matter if you're a girl or a boy, try the upside down push up. 
I'm gonna try to get to where I can just stand up without having to use a wall. Let's see if I can get there because I'm gonna keep doing this. Uh, I'm gonna get like a, I'm gonna get like a bar, you know, those curved uh, bars. Uh, I'm gonna try to get one of those and see if I can hit, do a stance or do something with it so that I can just, just, so I can just get one of the best and legit ultimate, my favorite workout, to be honest. Feels so good after you do it. You feel like you like, you know, pumped pumped up like if you do this before gym even i think it works out pretty good but hey this is my transformation i hope you guys enjoyed this whole video give it a thumbs up this is active verse coming at you again with a banger check out the previous video but till next time keep acting the verse and creating your universe i'm out